Hey guys, how you doing? Chicken Fried Rice here, and I hope you guys are having a good time. I'm having a blast right now, and she's got a few more exams, and then it's spring break. You know it. So today we are going to be following Mustang 47. I also like to call him Stang. You got Panzer Leader, my favorite friend, and you also have Spitz. Alright, so mainly we're going to be following Stan because Panzer Leader and Stang, uh, no, Panzer Leader and Spitz are going to do a great job of getting themselves killed. Uh, Stang is going to do a great job of killing people, ironically, as the reverse. Why? I don't know. Panzer Leader seems to be amazing at that. Hint, hint. Ooh, I'm, someone's going to have my head after this video. But that's okay, guys. We are here to have some fun and watch Mustang not only just um, kill a few people, but uh, he's just going to brutally murder a few of them, you know. He's going to be playing in an IS, just so you guys know what else tanks they're running. Uh, you're going to have um, a VK-302, and you are also going to have a Tiger P. Panzer's going to be in Tiger P, and Spitz is going to be in the VK. So already, uh, staying, just firing rounds. Now, that IS does not have the most accurate gun but it is pretty accurate and it is a heavy hitting gun for its tier it is up to uh, 300 damage yeah it's it's in the 250s for sure uh, i'm not sure if i've seen it do uh, um 300 damage but basically they're not doing anything special this game they're doing what most teams do they're holding the a1 a2 sector and uh, they're doing it quite a bit differently though, at the place of being very shy and not poking their heads out, they're doing so and they're completely stopping the enemy advance in their tracks. Now the reason why they're able to do that is, they realized immediately at the beginning of the game that the enemy team has nothing. So right here, Stang just does a one shot 380 damage on that tank, that is incredible. And guys, he is already at 3 Ails. That's incredible. Now, Panzer Leader and Spitz have killed the one tank each. So, basically, so far, except for one person, they've killed everyone on the enemy team. But uh, that's going to change soon for um, Panzer Leader. <laughs> um, you know, it's not because he's a bad player, but, uh, you know, he likes not he likes watching Stang do his job. This is not the first top play of the week uh, Stang has been in. Guys, Mustang also did the top play of the week where he murdered us while we were doing a training lobby. This was a serious game. A lot of you guys think it's rigged. It was serious. And he just murdered everyone in his SU-26. So anyways, we are going to be watching him do a little bit of this more murdering. Except today he's not playing artillery. He's an artillery guy, but he also is a jack of all trades, really. Right there, he just took down that SU-85 for a 350 damage shot. So I'm guessing this thing actually can go all the way to 400 damage. And uh, he's only been firing standard ammunition so far. There you go, 291. He's just one-shotting everyone. He's now at five kills, guys. And uh, you know what, nine minutes in, that is pretty darn good. He has done quite a good job. But now it looks like it's going to even up. Spitz got himself killed. And it uh, looks like uh, Panzer Leader is having some uh, slight issues right now. But uh, hopefully he will survive. You know, that Tiger piece frontal armor is actually extremely thick. I have a tier 8 M26 Pershing. And uh, except if I aim in the machine gun mount, and even then... It is very rare for me to penetrate a Tiger's Peace frontal armor. And I'm in a tier of tank. And my gun should have an amazing penetration. It's 190mm penetration around, I think, my gun. And uh, I still struggle penetrating that frontal armor. Right here you have Panzer Leader. Boom, just took a serious shot. He is not feeling uh, too great. And uh, there he goes. He just got blown up. But here comes Mustang, and he's just going to say, Hi, how you doing? Goodbye. Have a nice day. It was nice knowing you. Right there, he gets shot at by that IS. Unfortunately, that takes out quite a few hit points. Now, that IS is going to do a very smart move. He's going to back off. And uh, now, Mustang would easily go and finish him, except he can't. Because if he does, he's going to get shot in the ass by that T-34 medium tank. And, uh, you know what, he's not too worried about it, because uh, his friends across the ridge, there's a VK-301 all over there, and a VK-301 with a rearmor in sight. Well, um, let's just say, uh, not too many things to worry about. So right there, you just witnessed the explosion of that T-34 medium tank, and you know, Mustang is going to move up, he's going to push a bit deeper, try and get... Whoever is struggling back there. And uh, there's only three tanks left on the enemy team. So do you guys think he's going to get a kill apocalypse? I actually don't think he can. He can't. 
he can only get 9 kills. Kill Apocalypse is 10 kills. We have yet to see one of those right there. That VK301 uh, actually damaged Stang's turret. Stang has a lower turret turning speed. But you know what? Look at that. That is so slow. But it's not the end of the world because um, she was taking that one head on. Now right there you got Panzer Leader doing some smart remarks towards the other team. Tell, basically telling him that they should uh, uninstall the game and uh, stop playing right now. No, he's just screwing around with them. Guys, no matter what you say, people may say you're a bad player. And it's true, there are bad players out there. One of my friends is actually pretty darn horrible. But um, you start playing and um, just over time, there are a lot of things you can improve. And start playing with other people and then ask them for help on how you can improve your gameplay. That's how I brought up my uh, gameplay up. I used to be an okay player at World of Tanks and uh, I've gone a lot, a lot better. It is shown. If you guys go on noobmeter.com, it is a website that rates you best uh, based on several different ratings. If you go and check me out there, um, I'm starting to hit the averages. I used to be all below average, far below. So um, I've gone a long way, and uh, I gotta say, it's a big part of it is due to uh, the clan and a lot of the guys there because. Um, you ask them, you want to platoon? They'll say yes, and they'll be like, yeah, okay, let's platoon, and let's get better. And right here, Stang's going to go, boom, kill number eight. He has gone a team annihilation. No kill apocalypse, but a team annihilation. Seven kills, eight kills. I don't have a special name for eight kills because there's nothing special about it. Ten kills, then I would be surprised. Now, to finish it off, we don't know yet if Stang's going to get that last kill. Is he? I don't think so. I think he's going to cap, and... um. If you guys notice, he has now been firing uh, gold for the past four rounds to guarantee his pens at this point in the game. But also notice, Stang the, uh, Mustang doesn't only load regular and uh, premium ammunition. I usually only uh, load a lot of regular ammunition and some premium rounds if I need them. But he's loading regular ammunition, premium ammunition, and high explosive ammunition. Now, this is smart. The reason for this, guys, is because the premium ammunition may have... Uh, greater penetration but if someone is capping and you fire a premium and it does not penetrate you're not resetting a cap a um, high explosive round for example even if you don't penetrate the armor it will damage the enemy's tank which automatically means that you will be resetting the cap it's good to have those on and uh, you know what I'm gonna start playing with those because it comes in extremely handy you like right now if that tank over there has a high explosive round and he fires it at Stang, boom. If he has a regular round, might bounce. If he has a premium, might bounce. You never know. You can never be 100% sure, but with those high explosive rounds, it will do some damage. Stang right here tries to get it. He gets one shot off, but right before he can get a second shot off, the game is over. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry, but there is no top kill of the week. Um, this week, there were no submissions. It's kind of sad, but you know, I will post them when I get them. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys all night.